Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your ASUS router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. So, the first step is to power on the router. Take the power adapter. Connect one end of the power adapter to a wall socket and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. Once it's on, an indicator will light up. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port is often called WAN and is usually a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks into place. Now you need to reset the router back to its factory settings. Press and hold the router's reset button for 10 seconds. Wait until the lights on the router start to flash. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. The router will restart and all the settings will go back to their original factory settings. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into an Ethernet port. Plug the other end into your computer or laptop's Ethernet card. Please wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. But before we begin, I will demonstrate an alternative way to connect the router if you don't have an ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an ethernet port. Just connect the router to the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi if the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will be named as your router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, select the language for the router settings. I will leave the English language. To start the setup process, click this button. On this page, you need to enter whether there are any additional settings from your internet provider. 
You can find this information in the contract with your internet provider. If it is, select yes and enter the required information. But usually, there's no need to specify anything additional. So if you don't know what to choose, select no. Next, come up with a name and password for your Wi-Fi network. If you want to choose separate names and passwords for each router band, then check this box here. Save the settings by clicking this button. Now you need to come up with a new name and password for logging into the router's admin panel. Pay attention to the password requirements. To save the settings, click this button. On the next page, you can update the firmware if a new version is available. To update, click this button. The update process takes about three minutes. Please do not turn off the router during this time. After the update, click this button. Now wait a couple of minutes for the router settings to save. If you were connected to the router via the Wi-Fi network, reconnect to it using the new name and password. Then log back into the router's admin panel. To ensure that all router settings are saved correctly, you need to reboot the router. To do this, click this button. Wait a couple of minutes until the router fully turns on. If you were connected to the router via the Wi-Fi network, reconnect to it. Now check if the internet is working. Just Google something. If the internet still doesn't work, try cloning your MAC address. To do this, log back into the router's admin panel. Then go to the WAN section. And on this page, click the Mac clone button. Save the settings. And reboot the router again. After a couple of minutes, when the router fully turns on, check again if the internet is working. Just Google something. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.